Gamers, I've spent a lot of time running from my base to my mine and wood farm, and even more time running to the medieval city I'm working on. So to alleviate that issue, let's build an underground metro system that'll take us to those areas in a fraction of the time. It's gonna be a challenge as I've never actually built one before, but I've got some awesome ideas in mind. Let's get started. First of all, of course, we need some bloody blocks to build with, mate. For the first metro station, we're actually gonna be building uh, probably over here somewhere. I kind of want like a modern slash stone feel to it. And so, yeah, I'm basically gonna just gonna go get a bunch of andesite and a bunch of stone blocks. So give me a second and I'm gonna get that done right now. All right, gamers, we're back from the mines with honestly a pretty good bit of kit here. So let's just, ugh, bro, bro, let's just get straight into building the freaking thing, man. Jesus Christ. I'm actually keen as hell. I've never built a metro station before and dude, I'm, ugh, I just think it's gonna turn out awesome. But uh, yeah, it's time to find the perfect spot here. So I think honestly, just this area right here is gonna be perfect. Let's clear out some of the grass here. Oh, I was just wondering why this freaking pig was following me, it's because I'm holding my bloody carrots out. Dude, I'm literally still out here eating literal pig food. I need to freaking upgrade to steak at one point, eh? I don't... <laughs> I don't know how I'm living like this. Maybe it's finally time to use my fishing village to catch some bloody fish, mate. Let's give it a chuck and see how we go. Okay, yes, that was definitely just an excuse to showcase my little fishing adventures. I, uh, yeah, I didn't even catch any fish from that. Jesus Christ. I did catch them in real life, though. They're pretty bloody good, mate. I didn't actually get a picture of it, I'm sorry, but, uh, next time, definitely for sure. Okay, where the bloody hell were we? Let's get started on our entrance here. So, I'm thinking a nice kind of, like, wide... Honestly, I've literally done no planning for this, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But I have... Oh, dude, I just got a vision in my head. It literally just gave me goosebumps. Okay, we're gonna do a three-banger right there. We're gonna do another three-banger right here. This is going to be the start of our staircase right here, and I think I want it to be out of stone. So let's grab our crafting table here. Let's use some of this stone that we've uh, accumulated here. So yeah, let's start that right there. Then I'm going to excavate this out a little bit deeper. I'll probably just go to the full depth that I want to go, so just give me a second. All right, so here is the entrance so far, and I've actually just gotten some pretty nice ideas for this little exterior area here. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is probably add something like this, some corner pillars on, you know, all of the corners. In between those, let's add some more stone, just raised up one block here. And then in between those, what I think is going to look nice is some iron bars. Let's get those placed in. And yeah, dude, that is looking like a literal metro entrance. That is looking so good so far. The next thing I want to do is actually uh, kind of reduce this wall a little bit. I don't know why I made it like all the way up, but I think it's going to look way better like this. And then if we put some iron bars here is like kind of like a handrail. I think that is going to look pretty nice and like pretty much exactly the look I was wanting to go for pretty much. Okay. And there we go. So there's our little central hand railing added in. I might actually just bring it up to there or we could even add a freaking another one of these things here. Where is it? There it is. Polished andesite there. Maybe even do that. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. I think what actually might make this look even better is putting some andesite slabs on top of those. Let's see how that's going to look. And yeah, I think I'm liking that. I wonder if we even, you know, just surrounded that as well. Is that going to look cool? I think, nah, I think that makes it look too much like a prison or something. So let, let's get rid of those. Yeah, that's looking nice. Okay, the next thing I want to do is actually add some oak leaves surrounding this as well. Just as, you know, just to add a little bit of greenery to this because it is very, I don't know, just kind of bleak and uh, stone looking. I've also grabbed a bunch of signs to surround these to make it look like, you know, they're kind of contained, I guess, not just like randomly placed leaves. All right. So yeah, those signs are actually looking really good. Um, yeah, they they yeah they look. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. So that's uh oh actually I think we need to add a light up here too. That's that's definitely gonna look pretty nice as well. I reckon right here in the back in the middle we could add something like this that'll go up and then maybe have like that and then we put a light there and there. I just don't know what maybe like a shroom light I reckon is going to look good which means we need to go to the bloody nether. So um, screw preparing or anything. Let's just go straight there. Actually, I oh, probably should prepare, eh? I don't even know where one of those biomes is that has bloody shroom lights. We might need a lot of blocks to build with. Give me a second. I'll meet you guys uh, in the nether. Dude, I just came in and I don't know why but there's freaking pillagers in here, man. What are they doing, bro? Jesus Christ. Scared the actual crap out of me. Like there's nothing left in there. <laughs> okay, where the bloody hell would one of these biomes be that we need. Oh my god, this is gonna be 
This is going to be shit. I'm just going to say it right now. Oh, gamers, we found a biome. We finally found one. Oh, no. We got bogeys inbound, though. Get away from me. Jesus Christ. Yes, dude. Shroom lights are plenty. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to get a bunch of these harvested. Because, honestly, I don't know if I want to actually use these in the underground area as well of the metro. I don't know if that's going to look good or if I'm just going to use lanterns because they're going to be way easier to get, honestly. So I might just get a few to test it out and come back if I change my mind. So, um, yeah, give me a second. I'm going to get a couple right bloody now. Oh, dude, I'm just gathering a couple of shroomos and I noticed we got a bastion over here, mate. Should we explore it? I don't know. It's going to be a bit risky because, dude, look at all the activity down there. Uh, honestly... I don't know. Let's just have a little peek. Let's have a squiz. Okay, we already got a fat-ass achievement. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a chest down there, though. What the hell? And there's some f meat there, too. Dude, I feel like I need to, like, increase my FOV for this part. It's honestly, it's... I need, like, more alertness. Dude, I, I used to play the game like this on this FOV all the time. It just looks so weird now. 70 FOV is just, like, the way to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down to that chest, eh? All right, honestly, let's just go for it. We're going down. Oots, your dog. What's in here? Oh, golden carrots. A glock... glock a bold? What the hell am I saying that's garbage uh the rest of that is garbage okay oh we got a lot of bogeys down here though any more chests anywhere get me up get me up get me up holy crap okay um we might come back to this when i'm more equipped because right now you know full diamond just isn't good enough at the moment uh i'm gonna get back to harvesting my shroom lights and uh, i'll meet you guys back uh you know at the metro station oh god get me out of here buddy okay we're back with the shroom lights let's chuck those in and have a squiz at how it looks okay and the big reveal oh dude that's looking pretty nice i like that let's add some of these in maybe oh, one's just gonna look weird isn't it Okay, let's let's add two. We're going to raise this whole thing up a little bit and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, and yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that little light there. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all of the exterior done for this simple little modern one. We're going to do some pretty crazy stuff for the city one and for our mine one as well. Actually, the mine one's probably going to be the most simple one. But the one over in the city, I'm going to make like in a different style, which is going to be pretty cool. But we'll get to that once we actually get over there because, yeah, I have a lot of digging ahead of me. I have to basically dig a tunnel all the way down there. But before we we can even do that as well. We need to actually build a little station down here. So I'm going to continue excavating. And once I've got the whole area excavated, I'll get back to you guys and we can actually start designing the little underground metro station down here. So yeah, let's get to it. And here we are. Here is the actual, you know, like main underground area. And I've got a couple of things that I want to do. Obviously, I've only just kind of, you know, outlined the main area. I've replaced all of the ugly blocks with stone instead. And yeah, we just basically have an area to work with. And now it's time to start adding in all of the details. So the first thing I actually want to do is maybe in this area here, actually add some stone back right here. And maybe actually take away this whole front layer. Because in here, I want to add like some little rooms. In real metro stations, they have like these rooms on the sides. Honestly, I have no idea what they lead to. I've never been to a metro station in my life. So yeah, this is all just, um, I don't know, my random ideas, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so this is going to be the entrance here. We'll have like a little window on this part here. I grabbed some glass panes for that. And then we can just clear out a little area in here. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do in here. Maybe just like, <coughs> like a little control panel kind of terminal place or something. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, that's just like a pretty cute little area in there for now. I'll come back to this, obviously. The next thing I want to do is actually uh, probably make a bunch of stone stairs here. And yeah, if you look in here, yeah, I, I really did not need to harvest any stone at the start of the episode. I didn't like think that I'd, you know, honestly be freaking harvesting stone. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But uh, yeah, the next thing I want to do is actually make this whole area like a little bit curved by adding some stairs in these corners. Because most metro stations, they have like a kind of arched like interior, I guess. I guess I, it's probably to help like, you know, reinforce it a little bit better and stuff, but it's just going to help it look a little bit more realistic and uh, yeah, less of just like basically just a giant box. And we might as well just add in our second like other little room on this side too. Okay. And there we go. So there's our interior so far. Now we've got our two little rooms. We've added in some stairs here to make it kind of arch. So the next thing I want to do is actually add some little pillars on this little island section over here. So we're of course just going to add one right in the middle here. Yeah, that's going to look awesome, dude. It's going to give it that actual like metro feel because they always have like these big pillars or something i'm pretty sure uh you know 
And now this is actually where I want to add our lights as well. And I kind of, I want to figure out how we're going to do this because I don't know how I want it to look. So I don't know if that's like hanging too low, but I do kind of like the look of that, honestly. Yeah, I do really like that. Something else I think I want to do is actually add some stairs like this on the sides of the pillars here, just to add a little extra, you know, niceness to it. Yeah, that's looking really good. Maybe even actually add some stairs here as well. Yeah, those pillars are looking great. I love that. Okay, the next thing we're going to get sorted out doing is the actual, you know, the main functional part of this, the rails. And so because this is the home base station, I kind of want this to be the starting point. And so that means basically I'm going to put a block here and we'll put one here as well. And so from here, we can either go to the left, which will bring us to the city or to the right, which will bring us to the wood farm and the mine. And so basically you'll start on whichever side you want to actually go. And yeah, I think that's just going to be the easiest and kind of best layout to go with. Of course, we do need to add a button on top of those as well so that we can press it to, you know, get started going. And then I kind of just want to scatter some chests and barrels in these little empty sections up here just to make it look a little more lively and also just as a place to store our spare minecarts in as well. I think that's going to be a good amount in there. And yeah, so pretty much from this point here, I'm going to transition into like a smaller tunnel. We'll probably do something like this. So we'll do this kind of size for a little while and then we'll eventually probably just transition down into a two by two wide little one because it's just going to be so much extra work mining out all of this all the way down to the freaking city when like we really don't need to so you know i'm an efficient gamer out here i don't honestly i don't know why i've made two tracks i do just like the look of it but i think i might eventually just make these meet up in the middle so they're one track and then it'll just continue off to the city oh and i actually just got another nice idea that might you know kind of spruce this up a little bit and i think that's going to be just adding like a trim of polished andesite around the bottom of everything here. Yeah, dude, that, look, that actually looks really good. I like that. We might even just, yeah, we'll just do this along all of the walls around here. I think that's going to help just kind of break up the repetitiveness of the stone. I think there's definitely a lot of stone down here and it can be helped, you know, by adding some polished andesite around. Now, before we also get started on these tunnels, we could definitely use a little bit more lighting under here. Two lanterns just is not going to cut it. But yeah, I'm liking this for now. But yeah, so the next step is going to be continuing our tunnels all the way down to the city. This is going to be quite the arduous task. We're of course going to be doing it as a time lapse because it is going to take me absolutely forever. So let's, uh, let's get right into it, mate. Okay, now that we've reached this area here, uh, you might have also noticed I've installed a minimap mod. It just makes this way easier because honestly, I'd have no idea where I'm going underground and just having the map on, you know, lets me see basically where I'm going. And so essentially, we've come up to this area here. If you look on the map, the idea is that we're going to keep going this way and then we're going to turn left and go straight in towards the city. But this area is where I want to add something pretty cool. I want to add like a big open area. So we're going to have the rails kind of be revealed here in this like big open tunnel and then it's going to go straight back underground and then we'll eventually turn left and go off towards our city which uh, yeah you can actually see over there it's not too far away so yeah basically what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and clear out a massive area this is yeah it's probably going to take a while so I'll get that done and then we can actually get started filling it in with all of the awesome details I have planned so yeah let's get started Okay, gamers, so here is our new area so far, and some of you might be able to recognize this. Um, yeah, basically this build is uh, one that I actually made quite a while ago, and it basically gave me the whole idea for this actual episode. But uh, yeah, this time around it's going to be a little bit different, we're using some different blocks and stuff, so yeah, let's get to it. So first of all, we're going to be adding these pillars on the sides that stick out a block, and I'm going to be using our polished andesite blocks here, and we're going to be leaving a gap of five between those. So I'm going to quickly just add all of these in, and I'll extend them all the way up to the top and do the same on this other side. So uh, yeah, just give me a second. All right, there's all of our pillars added in. Now it's time to start adding some details to the top of this, like adding some stairs kind of going like this. Yeah, just something like that looks pretty good. And then in between these stairs, we can add some slabs as well, just to kind of like cap off the, uh, you know, the top of the walls here. So yeah, just uh, once again, give me another second and I'll quickly add this onto everything around here. Okay, so there's the tops of all of those added in. It's looking a lot nicer now. And now it's actually time for the fun part, which is going to be adding all of our details 
ourselves in. And starting off, as you can see, the walls are, you know, they're just a bit plain. The floor is a bit plain. So what we could do is add some andesite texturing in. It's definitely going to help elevate the look and uh, make it look a little bit more weathered as well. This is going to actually be a pretty big pain in the ass because I can't reach all the way up the freaking walls. But that's fine. We'll crack the scaffolding out and figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell, just ignore that absolutely glitching ass block there. But it looks a lot nicer than just this plain wall here. So once again, I'm going to quickly add that into every single wall and then we can actually get started with the fun part. Okay, and there we go. There is our upgraded little tunnel. I've added a bunch of texture all in the floor and all on... Oh my god, what the hell? We've got a little squadron that just spawned in over there. Uh, I'm gonna have to dispatch these guys real quick. Just close your eyes, guys. I don't want you guys to see this. Oh god. Jesus Christ, man. They're freaking crazy. Okay, there we go. We're all sorted out. Let's uh, sprinkle some lanterns in here, actually, so we don't get more bogeys bloody spawning in. But yeah, like I was saying, I added some texture. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot here. Ah, dickhead. I think I'm actually brain dead or something, man. Now the texturing's all done. And now it's time for the actual fun part, which is adding in all of the details, like I said before. And so to get us started, let's start with the actual, uh, you know, tracks here. So we're going to split off into a two wide track again. We're going to have one that goes this way. We're going to have another one that goes this way here. Of course, add in all of our powered rails as well. Oh my god. Okay, there's our rails. I just realized I still have the mini-map on. Let's turn that crap off. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so there's our rails added in. The next little detail I want to add is like a, a bit of a waterfall. Maybe that's coming in on one of the sides here. I think that's going to look pretty nice. Yeah, maybe right here is going to be the perfect spot. So let's kind of carve away a bit of the wall here. And uh, maybe let's get it to start from, yeah, right there. That looks perfect. Then we'll have that come down here. And I want it to transition into like a little bit of a, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. But uh, you know what I'm trying? to say. <laughs> We're going to have like stairs and stuff that'll kind of snake throughout the area and then that'll kind of go under here and maybe snake around this way a bit. Yeah, dude, that's going to look awesome. Maybe we'll have it come this way as well. Yeah, dude. Okay, now let's fill in our actual water here. So we'll place our water in right there. Hopefully that's going to, yes, it's just going to flow straight down. Sweet. And then from here, we'll start placing in all of our water in the stairs. I'm going to have to go grab some more. Yes, that looks so good. We just got like a nice little waterfall that trickles through. I love that little detail so so much. The next thing that we definitely need to add is some greenery down here. So let's grab out some moss blocks, some moss carpets. We'll also grab some azaleas and our grass as well. And so I just want to have like little bits of this kind of just scattered everywhere around here. Just get it nice and lush. Okay, we got a bunch of grass blocks now. Let's start sprinkling those in. I think definitely on here is going to look nice as, uh, you know, an azalea. Let's get some grass as well on this. <laughs> And uh, yeah, definitely beside our little waterfall here as well is going to look awesome having some greenery. Let's get some of those sprinkled in, maybe a moss block, some more azaleas and some grass. Hell yeah, dude. I want to have like kind of little bits that'll sprinkle out in towards this middle section as well. Just as if it's like kind of just sprawling out and you know, it's slowly getting overgrown and taken over by nature. I just love that look so much. It's definitely one of my most favorites to add to like any kind of build. Also, another detail that's definitely going to look nice is just adding more of these little cracks around, like not even just filling them up with water water as well. Just having little cracks throughout makes it look more like weathered and stuff. I don't really know. I just like the look of it, to be honest. And another detail as well that I'm going to be adding to this is just heaps of leaves. Let's quickly, uh, let's get up over here real quick. And yeah, so just adding stuff like this, having like leaves come up, will destroy part of this and we'll have like a big bush that starts up here. And then just having this kind of droop down and just like, yeah, I just love that. That looks awesome, dude. Can even have little bushes that just start there and hang down. Around this little waterfall section, definitely adding a bunch more leaves is going to look great because it's like, you know, theoretically there's a lot of water getting to it and stuff. So, you know, that's just my... <laughs> My reasoning? I don't know, dude. I'm literally talking shit right now. And yeah, so that's just basically all of the details that I'm going to continue adding to the rest of all of these walls. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, and there it is. There's our completed little open section of our metro tunnel. I love this so much. This has absolutely got to be one of my most favorite builds. There's just something about it that I just, oh, it just looks so good, dude. Just like being reclaimed by nature. And oh yeah, man, I don't know how to explain it. But <laughs> honestly, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, turn the old mini map back on. Once that bad boy loads in, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I'm basically going to use that. There we go. To continue. Oh, shit. 
To continue off over to our little village over there, I've left a spot. You might have noticed last episode, I left a spot behind the blacksmith, and that's where we're going to have our entrance to our metro, you know, over in that city. So, yeah, I'm going to continue this tunnel all the way over there, and I'll meet you guys, well, uh, you know, over there. <laughs> all right, so here we are. We're back at the medieval city, and I've linked up our little, uh, you know, thing, metro station, all the way over here. And so, obviously, I'm wanting to make this entrance here a little bit different. Well, actually, a lot different from the first one. So, obviously, that one over there is more of like a modern style metro, and this one, I think... I, I there's not really any, you know, medieval style metros because obviously that didn't really exist back then. So yeah, I'm basically using just no inspiration, no reference. I want to make like a kind of little building of sorts that, uh, you know, is going to serve as our actual entrance. And so I think what's going to look pretty nice is having like, I don't know, just making it look like it's kind of embedded in like some stone or something. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it. But so I'm just going to remove all of this grass around here and I'm going to replace it with some stone and some andesite. The next thing I want to do is actually link up our pathways to this as well. So we're just going to branch off here with a little single wide path that goes over to here. And then we're going to have this connect up over to this side too. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's actually get started with our little building. So something like that, I think is going to look pretty nice. That's actually maybe, ooh, blah, 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 I don't know. Yeah. I don't want this to be too big because uh, yeah, it's just a little entrance. I don't want it to be too crazy. Let's add on a little bit of a roof here. Oh my god, dude, if I can get up there. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's our little roof added on. I also added these nice little, like, kind of curves. I just felt it looked nice. The next detail I want to add is, uh, you know, our walls. So let's... Uh, I think something like this is going to look, I don't know, pretty good. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Honestly, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea how you'd make like a metro entrance in like a medieval theme because obviously that just doesn't exist. I think another neat little detail would be some fences along these like edge of these pillars here. Just kind of looks like some added support or something like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. As for our entrance here, let's maybe do something like that with some trap doors. And then let's just go ahead and start adding in our little stairs in here as well. And yeah, dude, that's looking awesome. I love that. Now on the outside of this, it's definitely going to look nice just having some various little details scattered around and yeah so now as we transition down i'm going to add some stairs in the roof as well I'll also clean up all of this dirt and replace it with some stone so let me get that done and then we'll work on this downstairs portion okay so there's our staircase cleaned up i've also just excavated a little bit more area under here and i actually reminded myself that i wanted to add a little something in here i want to add like a little i don't know just like a bit of a platform of sorts on this like stairs landing area yeah just something like that and i want to add some pillars in all of these corner parts as well. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. That looks awesome. I definitely want to get some fence gates kind of in between these. So let me go make some real quick. All right, so here's our little fence gate supports added in. Nice. I like that. And then I definitely want to just add in some more little details under here. Just this kind of stuff. Let's also maybe even add like a little bit of, uh, you know, a chunk taken out of the wall back here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we can continue heading down here where I have some pretty cool ideas. So let's first grab out our logs. We're going to add those same kind of corner pillars in here. Okay, and then as for our rails here. I want it to split off in two separate sides. I think what actually is going to look nicer is having this as maybe a stripped log and then a powered rail here and here and then we'll have our rails kind of connect up like so. That way we have two little areas here where we can uh, you know launch from and then instead of having our fence gates across here I think having like a nice little arch here is going to just accentuate that area so much nicer. Yeah that looks awesome. Can add some trap doors as well. I definitely need to go craft some more. Give me a second. Okay and there we go. There's all of those added in. Let's chuck a lantern there maybe one here as well or actually maybe let's just do one in the middle i think that's gonna look better and then we also need a little bit of storage for our uh you know our mine carts on these thingies and hell yeah that is looking so good i love that dude just such a cute little area. We've got our awesome little metro medieval entrance up here as well. Now, I definitely think we need some grass in this little area behind the blacksmith here. Yes, that is looking so good, man. I know I keep saying that, but it truly does. So yeah, now from our city, we can head down here all the way down to the bottom and we can just hop in one of these minecarts and be on our merry way all the way back over to the home base. So I'll meet you guys there. Actually, once I get there, I'll probably just start the time lapse of us actually, you know, bridging all the way over to my mine and my my wood farm area. And once we get there, we'll start building our actual little, uh, you know, metro station over there too. So I'll meet you guys over there with the time lapse. Okay, guys, this is bad. Uh, I was just digging my tunnel and literally from out underneath me, I fell into my cave. I'm fairly sure 
If I save and quit right now and come back in, the falling like speed should be reset and I should not die because I'm fairly sure I will die. So let's try this. Okay, we're loading back in. Let's see. I'm praying. Oh, thank God. God for that. But yeah, literally, look at how far we fell from. That 100% would have killed me, because I do not have any enchantments on my boots, like feather falling or whatever. Thank God for that trick, man. Oh, the series literally would have been over right there. I have goosebumps over my entire body right now. I need to... Oh, dude, I'm literally... I'm getting too complacent with this shit. Hey, I just did not expect that to happen whatsoever. But yeah, we are basically here now. I've gotten it in line with this spot right here. So we should be able to just dig down right here and... Uh, link back up to our little pathway. Yeah, so there's the cave. I'm pretty sure our path is directly underneath us there. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to link this up. But yeah, obviously we do not have a lot of space here to make this too pretty. I kind of just wanted this to be like a little entrance anyway through here. So what we can do is actually just remove this part of the rock here. And then obviously we'll pretty up this like entrance area for now. But what I'm just gonna quickly do is sort all this out and kind of just make this, uh, you know, link up to down there. And oh, there's the rain, of course. So yeah, give me a second and I'll get that done. I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, so here's our entrance so far. Obviously, um, yeah, I haven't really cleaned it up. I've added a staircase in, but this has actually just given me a really cool idea to add sort of like a suspended platform kind of, uh, you know, metro station because our rail is right there. I'll have that kind of come around this way and then we can add like a big floating platform. I think that is going to look really cool. So probably right here, actually, let's uh, let's continue the stone a little. Oh my Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me, dude. Ho! And continue the stone a little little bit and then we'll transition to the actual platform maybe right here so let's have something like this actually uh, let's get rid of this and have it be kind of like a little bridge that connects up like that but yeah so I've made a couple of chains and so I want to maybe actually extend this out a little further and then we can add our chains on these corners and then from here let's actually remove those and then we'll have something like that and so that point there is where our uh, little railway is going to continue on from we're going to bring this all the way over here and then maybe we'll go into the wall here and then continue up to our actual existing pathway. So let's get a wood block. We'll strip that. We'll add a button on top of that. We'll get our powered rail. Bang. Let's connect that up. And yeah, dude. Now we can, of course, just add some random details on here. We're definitely going to need a barrel to store our, uh, you know, thingamajigs. Our minecarts. Dude, literally, I cannot think of the name of anything on the fly right now. I don't know what's going on. So let's get one placed on there. We'll chuck two in there as well. And I think this area under the stairs could actually just be contained like that. I think that's going to look a little better. Yeah, dude, that's cool. I like how like dangerous this little platform is. Let's actually remove these and replace them with some trapdoors. I think that's going to look better. Just add a little extra, you know, pizzazz to this. Maybe, oh, maybe we could actually just increase the safety a little bit by putting some fence gates there. I think it'll look pretty good as well. Yeah, there we go. So that's our little thing connected up. Let's head back up here and actually fix up this, uh, you know, outside area and make it look a little nicer. Okay, so there's our little fixed up, uh, you know, entrance here. I just made it all into stone and prettied it up a bit and so my first little idea for the outside area up here is to add some extinguished campfires on the roof then let's maybe grab a trap door off to the side and we'll have like a bit of a fence kind of like pole thing holding it up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then all on this outside area, we can definitely pretty it up a bit more by adding some stairs and stuff. Now, as for our little path, why did I just remove those? Um, we can do that to link it up to that. And then we can do this to link it up over to, you know, this staircase here. Actually, let's do that instead. And yeah, so there we go. There's our little entrance. But yeah, it leads down to this nice, like, uh, just dangerous little platform. This actually looks awesome, dude. I love this so much. But yeah, so now we can take this all the way over to our home base instead of having to run there, which is just a pain in the ass. God, that is so nice, man. That is so much quicker. So here we are. We're arrived. Um, we're gonna have to... Yeah, I don't know, figure that out, but <laughs> that's fine for now. But yeah, actually heading up out here, I just realized that uh, we completely forgot to actually link this up to our path. And something else I noticed as well is we've never connected up our base pathway here to the farm. I can't believe I never noticed that. I don't know how I never noticed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just losing it or something. So let's finally connect this pathway up to our farm here. Oh, there we go. That's so much better. That's finally connected up. And then we can link this up over to our little metro station as well. Yeah, it's something like that. A nice cute little path. 
pathway. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much going to conclude, uh, you know, everything I wanted to get done in this episode. We made our massive metro station down here, dude. This has got to be my favorite one. I love the look of this. It's just so nice, dude. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. If you want to download each one of these little station things that I made, there'll be one for this station here behind me. There'll be one for over at the medieval city and the one over at the farm back over that way as well. Be sure to check out my Patreon as I'll have the downloads up over there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.